are presented all around the Queen City. And this weekend, there's a brand new festival that you can check out, and it's free to go. QC Live's Jorge Andres is live this morning at Urban District Market, which is a cool new spot in town anyway. And we love a first of its kind festival, Jorge. It just means that we're getting exposed <laughs> to so many new things. Absolutely, Kristen. It's about experiencing new things. And as you mentioned, the Urban District Market right here in Noda is a great way to do that, especially this weekend, because on June 1st and June 2nd, it will be the inaugural Japan Fest, which is why I am joined by Tim and Lisa, uh, the co-owners here of the Urban District Market, as well as uh, So Food. Uh, and first, I want to start with what's happening this weekend, Tim, and I'll start with you, and I'll get Lisa's point in a minute. Uh, it's an inaugural festival between, on both Saturday and Sunday, June 1st and 2nd, to celebrate uh, Japanese culture, really Asian culture. Why did you guys decide to bring this to the Queen City? Yeah, so we thought, you know, what better way to um, be in a market uh, and have Japanese culture be more well-known in Charlotte by having a festival that used to be here that got canceled this past year. So we decided to host it ourselves and be able to share the culture of the Japanese culture with all different performances that are going on for two days. You mentioned performances. We obviously have been walking around some of these amazing vendors and I can smell the food. What can people expect when they come through the doors both on Saturday and on Sunday, Lisa? Uh, we're going to have traditional festival, Japanese festival foods such as yakisoba or takoyaki or anything that's kind of like grab and go. You play festival games, you get food, you kind of eat it outside or inside if it's too hot, but it'll be really fun. Uh, it, it's going to be a great experience for people who have never experienced Japanese festivals or people who have done it and love it. Now, I, I, as I walk around here, Tim, I, I see that it's very dog friendly. It's very kid friendly. Lisa mentioned some games. Tell me about some of the activities that our, may, maybe our four-legged friends or even our, our little ones can experience as well. Yeah. Well, the games are designed so that everybody's a winner. So no matter what, you'll be walking away with some kind of a prize. Um, any uh, child can enjoy it or an adult. So it's got different skill levels, but again, everyone's always going to be a winner. So it's made like festival style, so it's kind of like carnival games. So if we're talking festival style carnival games, we have to have music. We have to have demonstrations. What kind of demonstrations and music will people be able to see, Lisa? Yes, um, we have the Wadaiko people coming. Um, it's a father and a son group. They're really awesome. They're going to perform. The Aikido people are going to do some demonstration. We have a bunch of kids from the Japanese program at sale coming to dance and it's just going to be a fun whole day like really cool festival. Tim why, why bring this to the Queen City and, and really be able to give such a great level of exposure uh, for Asian culture to our great city? Well actually I grew up in Charlotte and um, I care a lot about the community in Charlotte and we always felt like Charlotte needed to be able to experience more things that bigger cities had. Uh, so we would love to be able to provide that and be able to give more exposure to the Asian community. At the end of the day, Charlotte continues to grow day in and day out, week in and week out, month in and month out. For anybody that wants to come, what's the, what's the price point? What's it going to cost them to come to the festival and be able to enjoy all of this? Yeah, so the festival itself is going to be free, so anybody can come and enjoy it. Um, there's obviously going to be a price for food and the games, but it'll be really a good price point where everybody can enjoy. And when you say everybody, uh, is there an age limit? Can I bring my little ones? Can I bring four-legged friends? You can bring your four little friends. You can bring your three-legged friends. doesn't matter. <laughs> Anybody can come. <laughs> Fantastic. Look, at the end of the day, uh, uh, Kristen, it, it is something that is very, very fun that's happening this weekend uh, for the first time. That's key. For the first time, both June 1st and June 2nd, there'll be different activities. Uh, there'll be tons of food, and there's going to be music and demonstration for people to be able to learn. Yeah, what I think is cool, Jorge, is that so many of those acts that she was talking about, the different types of performers, I don't know what any of that is, and that's the whole point, right? They want to get people there to experience something new for the first time. 
A hundred percent. Look, I, you know me. I love Asian cuisine. But walking around here with Tim and Lisa, I've seen some of the menus. I, I want to try that. I, I've never heard of that, but I want to try that. And the same with the music, the same with the demonstrations. Uh, I've heard of Aikido demonstrations, but I've never actually participated in it. I, I've never actually uh, worn uh, the gear that, that is worn. So that is an opportunity for people to learn and people to really experience something right here in our city and lift up uh, the Asian community that is also a part of this great city. Well, I cannot wait to see what you're going to show us next, Jorge. We'll see you in a few minutes, okay? <laughs>